Well, spring is quite clearly sprung, as you can see by all the, the snow melt, all the flooding that's going on. But that happens every year, obviously the bridge is washed out right now. So this time I remembered to bring my rubber boots so I could actually get across. I mean, it's going to do what it always does this time of year, which is like in March, we'll get a couple warm days where everything melts and then all of a sudden, like it's 50 degrees right now, and it, but it's going to be 33 tonight, so it's going to be cold. But then next week, temp, literally starting Sunday night, temperatures are going to be down in the 20s again, and then overnight temperatures are single digits. So that's the fluctuations of this time of year. We're going to hang out, do some chores, and I brought a trail camera to set up so hopefully we'll see what's moving around in places at night hopefully if anything does move around tonight we'll see Finally ponied up and got myself one of the cell phone cameras that you don't have, it basically can send pictures to your phone directly from it because this, this place is quite far away from my house and I, honestly I have two trail cameras out here already, cheap ones, but there was just like, I can't get out here every day and I can't get out here every week. And then I was just getting annoyed when it was like I'd come to check my cameras and find that the batteries had been dead for ages or the memory card was full, you know, so it's just finally got one of these ones, the Tacticam Reveal. And I know because my cell phone's AT&T that I get full AT&T reception out here. So I got the AT&T one and I could have sworn it said the thing takes Oh, 12 AA, I thought it said it took 20. But that should, this should hopefully make a big difference. So this, like, all of this, if you look around the edges, there's a bunch of dead, dead trees and all the stuff that was in here. This is an old apple orchard, like this. All these trees here are apple trees. And this was just, like, completely full of dead trees and shrubs and, like, just brush. It was just a mess. There was a big tree right here. And basically last... Yeah, last summer, after I got back from Maine and I dropped my camera in the river, I was pretty much out here instead of making videos, just working on it, cleared everything. My father-in-law came with the excavator and helped and cleared out all the dead stuff and leveled it and then I planted a bunch of, of food crops for the deer. I've also got another one that I did up there as well. So.
Okay, well there's quite a clear game trail here over into the neighbour's field that the deer have obviously been using recently because there's a ton of sign on it and it's very, very obvious and flattened out right now. So I, what I'm going to do is, in here, basically as part of my self-reliance journey, I was learning to process a deer this year, or the year just gone, and I decided I was going to keep a bunch of the offcuts and some of the bones and stuff, and I wasn't sure what I was going to use it for, but it's been sat in a cooler outside, which was fine whilst it was cold, but now it's starting to heat up again, this stuff's starting to go bad, and I figure I use it to, to, you know, set the, use it so I can set the camera up and we'll see if anything comes tonight and, and takes it. Nice thing is I'm in quite an elevated position. The wind's blowing down that way right now. So if anything is down there in the woods, the wind will blow the scent down that way. But also if it changes and there's anything in this sort of edge here of this field, then it'll be blowing off that way. Because if I put it down in that dip, the scent's not gonna, gonna go anywhere. And especially as the cold weather comes in, as we know, the cold air sinks and it'll push the scent down. So I want it to be as high up as possible in this little drawer that I've got going on. What of course would be helpful is if I brought <laughs> any one of the many tools I have down at the bottom to dig this hole but I'm gonna dig a little hole and then probably put the stuff in there put a, one of these flat rocks on top of it and then cover it over again but you never know I've had obviously a ton of deer on camera here I've had foxes I've had coyotes I've had bobcats and I've even had a bear on camera here like a bear like a full-blown bear so it's one thing I love about this place is you never know what you're gonna see out here you tend to see more animals out here than you do further up north where they have a lot of places to hide Pretty sure that's a little muskrat. There he goes, look.
Don't try this at home. Good.
Well, the ribs are cooking. Ribs on the barbecue. Got a little ranch water. I've been wanting to try this. I've seen it advertised places and I thought I'd give it a try. It's one of those hard seltzers, but I guess it's made with agave. Agave? Which is more like tequila than... I think the other stuff's made with malt liquor, so... Let's give it a... Oh, it's nice. It's nice. It's not bad as that. It's got quite a... It's got lime in it. This one's a lime juice one, so... It's got a bit of that... Uh, plenty of southwest flavour south of the border flavor to it, which is nice. I figured, it says on it, roots in far west Texas. I figured Texas barbecue, Texas drink, go hand in hand. Muchos, muchos, complimentary. <laughs> so yeah, it's quite nice. I couldn't drink a lot of them though. It's very like, like if you drink Corona and you put lime in a Corona, like, I don't really like the lime in there. It's kind of just like a bit too, I don't know, there's something about it which doesn't taste great. But but yeah, the camera's out, which is good. Like I say, I saw the muskrat earlier. There's a pair of wood ducks which are in here, which seem pretty happy. No matter how many times I scare them, they seem to just do a lap and come back. And then that's pretty cool. Obviously, you can, I don't know if you can hear all the geese that are obviously on their way back up north. And then, yeah, we'll see. Like I say, I've seen all sorts of stuff on camera out here. Not regularly. Like deer I see all the time. That's, you know, they're, they're everywhere. You see tons of them. Um, I've seen raccoons on the camera. I've seen a bobcat. Foxes. A grey fox. A red fox. And coyote. And a bear. A bear. Now, the bear's the big one. The bear was here last spring. I saw it, if I find the picture, the date on the camera is wrong, but I know it was in May because I literally put the camera out in May and then came back to check it like a week later and the, there'd been a bear come through, so that'd be pretty interesting if a bear came through tonight. Um, but what you guys don't see, like where I set that camera is maybe only like, I don't know, it's less than halfway into the property like there's a much the property goes all the way back up the hill and there's a pond up at the top as well so there's quite a bit of activity up there but <laughs> it's quite a steep hill and it's quite a long walk so i don't like to hike up there all the time so i'm hoping to get well either use that camera that i got but i'd like to get another couple of those cameras to set up here like I said because it's quite far away it's too far from my house to come out and check it like every week you know especially when I'm camping up north even further up north sorry should I say so it, it gets difficult so I'd like to do that and then I was thinking like if you guys like this stuff out here or this little place even if I don't post a video from here every week it'd be cool to like on the community page post pictures for you guys of what I've captured on the trail camera if I see something cool you know I think that'd be cool so if you guys want to subscribe to see that but yeah hopefully these these ribs have got a little while to cook still so finish splitting some wood and then when they're ready we'll get to to noshing
Oh, yes. Listen, I accept that I'm no grill master. I understand that. I'm not, I'm not the best at it. I admit it. I know a lot of guys who are. I'm just not one of them yet. But right now I am starving. And these smell so good. Easy. Easy. It's hot. Oh. Cheers. It's a very hot rehab. Oh yes. They're good. They're good. Nice and tender, but a little charred. I like char. I do. I know my last cooking attempt out here was very burnt, but I do like the char. Oh man, I almost didn't want to put more wood on that thing. It's like, it's not so bad over here, but I mean, you stand up, it is uncomfortably hot in here right now. Sweating. I also didn't want to turn the generator on because I've learned one thing the generator is nice, but the other thing is when you're here by yourself and then you get comfortable and you're about to fall asleep and then you realize you've got to turn the generator off. So, anyway, yeah. Good night. Ooh, sometimes I like to let out my 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 basic white girl <laughs> and drink basic white girl coffee. Um, so according to this, we got one picture of a squirrel. Tell a lie. Is that another picture? Nine twenty-seven a.m. Oh, I just got a new new picture through of another squirrel. <laughs> so we got squirrels, squirrel. But the thing is. I, Right now, I noticed when I was up there, and I was obviously down here, because it's still early in the year, there's not a ton of cover, like a lot of the, the, the brush doesn't have leaves on it, and it's not like grown up yet. Does that make sense? Like, so there's not a ton of cover, it's still very open. So I haven't seen a ton of tracks down here. My guess would be because the creek's so high, 
and obviously the water's cold, nothing wants to to cross the creek. So I reckon everything's probably up at the top of the hill up there where there's a bit more cover in the in the heavier wooded part of the property. So hopefully what I'll do, like I say, at some point I'll be able to get another one of those cameras and, and put one all the way up the top and then have one lower down and and I'll post pictures on the community tab as I go along. Like if people want to see what, what pops up, see what cool little animals and obviously like uh, if anything cool appears then I can then I can post that for people as well. So anyway, as always I'm going to get ready to go home, so thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.